Welcome back to WSJ Live. Well, bunnies and playmates remain, but Playboy rebuilds its brand. Keech Hagee is here with more this morning. Good morning, Keech. Good morning. So Playboy is such an iconic company, but it's gone through a pretty big restructuring of late. Tell us uh, how this new CEO that they brought in in 2009 has changed the company. Well, the company went private two years ago, and Scott Flanders, the CEO, has radically changed the company. He's gotten rid of 75% of the staff, moved it from its uh, iconic headquarters in Chicago to LA, outsourced everything he could outsource, and has really focused on making Playboy a licensing business. All right, we actually have a soundbite here of Scott Flanders, the CEO of Playboy, talking about taking the company private to our own Lee Hawkins in an interview. We would not be where we are today had Hef not wanted to take the company private. You know, that was a very foresightful move that I did not see coming. It was part of it because you really needed to, to kind of be off the public's radar in order to shore up your finances and, and just get that taken care of Absolutely. before going back out? Absolutely. We terminated 11 of our 13 U.S. licensees. Too much of our product was being sold at Spencer's Gifts. Not that that isn't a legitimate distribution channel, but we are about an upscale, aspirational lifestyle brand, and we needed to be reposition uh, our distribution channels and our licensing partners. So, Keith, it looks like a brand new world then for Playboy. That's right. The, the transition has made some, some progress. Um, they have cut costs by an enormous amount, $33 million in the last two years. Um, but it's a little bit bumpy, too. They just um, recently, last year, missed one of their profitability targets with their lenders. They negotiated for a, a new deadline, but S&P warned that it might have to downgrade them because they're having trouble hitting that profitability. And there have been some complaints about the culture under, under Mr. Flanders. Um, who, you know, operates in the, from the world of private equity and um, has ushered in what many employees call a harsher, cult harsher culture. And speaking of the culture, it was uh, this company built by Hugh Hefner. Uh, mm -hmm. We just heard Scott Flanders talking about how uh, it was his idea to go, to go private and how prescient that was in the company's future. What role does Hugh Hefner play today? Well, uh, Hef, as everyone calls him, uh, he, he's the editor-in-chief of Playboy magazine. He still lives in the mansion. These two things were protected in the, t in the taking private uh, contract. Because Scott Flanders was the first CEO to come in from outside the, the family of Hugh Hefner, right? That's right. So uh, the people in the, the magazine say that Hef is still very involved in, in choosing the editorial, which is, of course, the photos of the beautiful women. Uh, and, you know, he's still very much a part of the brand, but he's not involved in the day-to-day -day running of the company. Okay. And then we're going to look at a full screen here of some of the moves that Scott Flanders has made. Uh, we just talked about reducing the staff by about 75% and moving the headquarters to Los Angeles. Also uh, outsourced a lot of Playboy businesses. I know we cut back a lot of the media companies and you talked about the culture there. So, so what, what is Playboy like today? What is the company uh, like today in terms of where it's going in its future and how the employees are, are feeling about that? Well, I've heard from a lot of current and former employees uh, who, who say that uh, Mr. Flanders is uh, a bit of a difficult person to work with, that he uh, is occasionally verbally abusive. And in fact, there was a case where um, at, at a party a couple years ago, he was not behaving in an appropriate manner toward playmates, according to these people. And uh, he did, in fact, there was a complaint lodged against him, and he had to take sensitivity training as a result. So, um, you know, it's a bit of a mixed bag. So is the Playboy that we knew of, you know, yesteryear, obviously you mentioned the beautiful girls and, and you know, a lot of people saying this, uh, this look that they had, is that going to change a lot going forward? Are they still going to keep the bunnies, the playmates? Is that going to be a mainstay of their company going forward or should we look for a, a more uh, changed look from Playboy? You'll still have the bunnies and the playmates, but they are trying to make things a little bit more aspirational, they say. They're trying to uh, you know, target art and fashion partners, um, less sweatsuit, more Tom Ford, as their chief marketing officer put it. Um, so, th you know, they're trying to appeal also to a younger generation that grew up with free porn on the internet and, um, you know, doesn't want to see fake breasts, right? Yeah. So uh, it it'll be a slightly different look in the magazine going forward. Interesting. Keach, thanks so much for bringing it to us. We appreciate it. Mm -hmm. And you can read much more of this story on WSJ.com.